So, I felt so tired all day, so I have not even tried to film this first clip yet. And it's already 6 p.m. It's already really dark outside. It was supposed to snow today, but it didn't. Very disappointing. Anyways, it's the first vlog of the year. Very exciting stuff. I to start the year off right with a positive note. Good, good note. I and plus I it's winter break, so I don't have school and stuff. So I want to start off with a good note and get some reading done. Do a lot of reading this month. I've got. I'm very excited because all of the like end of the year videos that people have been posting and the one that I did, um, just really I'm like yeah, it's time to read. It's go time. That's my plan. I'm almost finished with my first book, and it's an audiobook of Black Sun by Rebecca Roanhorse. I can't even tell you what this book has done to me. Like, it is a high fantasy book. I keep always just seeing it as fantasy, not high fantasy. Ooh, my hair. It's crazy. Anyways, as I was saying, it's a high fantasy book. I keep seeing it just as fantasy, and then I'm like, mm, why are we calling this high fantasy? Because it's like very politically complex and world building, very high fantasy stuff. So, be forewarned. It is uh pre-columbian inspired just like a mix of all these cultures um my cultures yeah so <laughs> this has been such a weird experience i started the audiobook which is amazing there's like a cast of uh different narrators for the different point of views this multiple point of view books which i don't love but i feel like that's like a given with high fantasy it's even another reason to call this high fantasy i don't love multiple point of view stories but there's a lot of them but like that's just something that comes with high fantasy and i've gotten used to that but um this book it's absolutely crazy i'm mayan if you didn't know half mayan grew up in belize grew up with that culture and this book is like of those cultures at uh, mayan aztec olmec all other many named um cultures mixed into one and plus some fantastical elements since this is fantasy um which at first i was like is that would that be a little bit dangerous because you're like making it look like this monolith but you know the intricacies of high fantasy go deep i feel like i'm not making any sense right now but i don't know if that's just because i'm really tired or what the point here is that i started this book and i was just it weirded me out so much because i never ever 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 expected to see myself and things that i know within my culture represented on a page or in literature or like anywhere i never thought i would find that in fantasy which i love fantasy and high fantasy so much so last place yeah it was just super weird because all of this stuff like lord balam which is balam balam balum jaguar what the hell and whipil and i was just like this is so weird to me so weird because this, do you understand why it's weird? Like, is this how people feel when they're finally represented in, in the world? Really weird to me. But then, like I said, my one critique of this is, is it making all, like, blending all these cultures, which are very distinct? Um, is it, like, melding them together too much and to making it like this monolith? I know that Rebe Rebecca Roanhorse has come into con some controversy in the past for writing I don't know how to say it, dying stories, Native American stories from a specific tribe, um, region, area, sharing their stories without the right to share them. So um, that is something to consider. But just that aspect of like seeing representation of myself in literature, what a weird feeling. This is how you guys have been feeling this whole time. Uh, crazy. The past few years since things have become a lot more diverse. Finally my time how weird anyways i'm gonna finish listening to that i have like 30 minutes left on the audiobook um i listen to audiobooks pretty fast anyways and then i have ebooks that i got for romance fantasies but i'll talk about them later um but i'm pretty sure that i'm gonna give black sun like a um 4.5 five stars the 0.5 is just because of those little things um yeah good stuff <laughs>
I finished Black Sun. It was very good. The end, I don't know if I just wasn't paying attention to the audiobook, which I thought that I was, but like the end felt a little bit rushed. Um, it's definitely, it, this feels like a very much high fantasy book. It's got a lot of high fantasy book rhythms. This first book is like half the story, you know? It would be better if both of them were out and then you read them as one. Um, so really feels like the first book is just like leading up for the events to take place in the second book um so it's a lot of setup a lot of exposition so understandable feels like a very typical fantasy book the thing that makes it special about this is like the whole culture aspect and again like super weird to see it but that was really only in the beginning of the book when the world was just being set up and like we were int being introduced to it but like other than that i think it was like a pretty standard fantasy book i gave it a five stars on goodreads but it's a 4.5 anyways overall i thought it was really good and i thought it was really it feels very special to me and it was a very good book to start the year off with and i look forward to the release in april of the second book april 22nd i think it was very excited so moving on the next book what shall it be i got this kindle december 15th 2012 10 years ago this this shit is 10 years well it will be or yes it is 10 years this is 10 years old can you believe it kind of crazy but i got some audiobooks to read some fantasy romance because i need some of that in my life you know so i sorry i keep things so like that i'm annoying myself at this point now um especially after black sun i need something a little bit less heavy on the political high fantasy aspect i need something just more fantasy romance because you know just a hole in my heart constantly since uh reading akatar even though i didn't want to be one of those people i just am now i guess um it just changed me but yeah i was reading comments on my last video about you know i was talking about like ektar and there are a lot more d uh controversies with sarah j mass that i would just was because like i haven't really kept up with sarah j mass or anything um because i wasn't on booktube and i didn't i hated her books so i didn't care but anyway so the books i was doing all this research i was looking up all these books because i was like oh we're delving into a new world, new world here. It all started with this one book that I got an Instagram ad for, which was The Song of the Marked by S.M. Gaither. Um, and I also got The High Mountain Court by A.K. Mulford, uh, Daughter of No Worlds, A Fate of Wrath and Flame, and To Bleed a Kingdom. These are all fantasy romances, I think. And so I thought that the book that like I wanted to read first was The High Mountain Court. But then I started reading it and I was like, mm, this main character that she's being described is not what the main character looks like on the cover. And I realized I'm reading the wrong book. <laughs> um, I did not want to start with this one because it was a little bit iffy. There was bad reviews and good reviews. But I want to start with The Song of the Marked, I think. The reviews are pretty good for that. So I'm, I just want something good and fresh and fun. I'm not trying to have like good reads to begin the year with, but obviously I don't want to like waste my time. I haven't read an ebook in forever like i'm a kindle mm, haven't done that in so long and this used to be the only way that i could read books because i lived in belize and so there were no bookstores so yeah i'm excited this is so slow but i used to only read on my kindle i had a kindle like the white one with a little keyboard on it and it would read to me um for free no audiobook and it was just, like mechanical voice and i like psychopathic behavior i don't know why i used to do this but i would put the hunger games on um for it to read me to sleep every night for i don't know how many nights now that i'm older i understand like hyperfixations and stuff like that but like at the time i just thought it was normal but i haven't read an ebook in a really long time i try to read on my ipad like on ibooks but i just can't like I, there's just something about it i can't read on my ipad oh my gosh the format of this is so old it's so much nostalgia um i read a lot of synopsises for books yesterday so i don't know which was the book that i was like this is the one i'm gonna start with because that sounds really good because now that i just read this description i'm like because mm. i can't think of what the book that i like what it was about <sighs> did i just not read a description and i just read reviews and i was like oh yeah everybody likes this
gorgeous girls love soup. Soup girls are the best. watching this I'm gonna roast you but um, I <laughs> I lent this copy to a friend an acquaintance this is how she brought it back to me ma'am and she has another one of my books but I don't know which one it is because it's Goblet of Fire I think maybe it's been like two years and she still hasn't given me back. Not that we've seen each other, but she's never offered to try and give me back. <laughs> what is this? What is this? Like, I know it's a paperback. I know it's a little bit old, but what is this? <laughs> and not that I can't get another copy like for a dollar, but what is this?
That was really rude. This stopped recording all of a sudden. Shall I sue? I haven't talked to you in a little while. Um, last I said, I think I said that I was gonna read a book on my Kindle that I got, one of those ones, but I wasn't really like vibing any of them. None of them, I was like, this is the one to do, this is the one to read. Um, a lot of them felt like I could listen to them better on an audiobook, but like, ah. Anyways, so I was just scrolling my Kindle and I saw The Hunger Games because it's the Kindle that I had when I was like 12. So I just started reading it and then I was like, let me look on YouTube, see if they have the audiobook and they did. And so I listened to the whole thing by accident. I just wanted to like listen to the beginning, just get the vibes, like mm, familiar, comfortable stuff. And then I finished it last night, so. <laughs> but I'm not gonna continue with like the rest of it. Nothing. Still not Team PETA, just Every time I read, I think this is the third reread um, that I've done in like recent years since like I read it in like 2012 or something. It's been 10 years since I read it the first time. <laughs> Anyways, I still know. Like, not that being like Team Peta or Team Gale is like you like Peta or Gale better as a person. It's about the like relationship with them. Even if I'm not Team Peter, it doesn't mean that I hate Peter's guts. Sometimes, you know, in those types of things, it does mean I hate their guts. Like I hate Jacob. I hate Jacob's guts. Assault essay? Mm -mm, I don't think so, Jacob. <laughs> not that Peter is a bad person. I just think that Katniss doesn't really like him, like in that way. And you don't have to be romantically interested in somebody just because they are. And that is a big problem that I have in life. Like rereading The Hunger Games now that I'm older, I'm just like, this girl kept having to remind herself that she was supposed to like be nice to him. I think she did eventually like start to care for him like as a friend, but she just had to keep reminding herself about the, like, I, the Hunger Games. It still stands up to this day. Still very enjoyable to listen to. Is it YA? I was thinking about it. I was trying to put it in my journal just before. And I was like, is this YA? <laughs> I can't remember. <laughs> like it's dystopian for sure, but is it YA? I think so whatever kind of wild anyways i got a physical copy of black sun by rebecca roanhorse the one that i read early in this video i'm probably gonna go and annotate um the pieces that i want to later i also never did a haul of what i got at um that place okay i got three books from book off because <laughs> book off prices have gone up kind of rude um this is the third book in the Lightbringer series. The first one is called Black Prism by Brent Weeks. And I got the second book because the second book is, I finished the first book and I'm going to read the second book at some point in this year. And I, so I got the physical book for the second book because I, you know, want to keep up with, you know, because high fantasy, complicated, whatever. And then, so this was there and I was like, uh, well, it's here. So I might as well get it. It was seven fifty though. Kind of rude, but whatever. They're all used books. So why are the prices going up? <laughs> It's so much bigger than the other two. Well, not so much, but yeah. Anyways, this book, I don't know why I bought this. I just thought that I would regret it if I didn't. I listened to these books on audiobook over the summer, last summer, and um, terrible books, but like a good time, but like honestly very terrible. I talked about this in my um, books that I read in 2021 uh, video. This was 9.50, so I don't really know why I bought that. Anyways, um, and then Scarlet by Marissa Meyer. I did a reread of this last year, year before. Um, I really love these books. I think it was the year before. Love these books so much. Why a sci-fi. I could not remember the heck that that was called. They're like retellings of Cinderella. This one's Red Riding Hood. There's Rapunzel and, and I really like how the author like took those retellings and incorporated it into the world, like using like the base of the stories of the retellings in this. Very fun and in a dystopian, or not dystopian, a sci-fi world. That's what I got. Anyways, I hope you all are doing very well. Uh, thank you so much for watching this video. Why am I in such a silly of a mood?